This is what the new government of Sudan looks like, and President Omar al-Bashir wants it to work on fixing the economy in a country that will now be in a state of emergency for an entire year. Bashir issued two presidential decrees appointing army and security officers to govern the country's 18 provinces after dissolving both central and state governments. A move seen by many as Bashir's attempts to consolidate his absolute power in the country. The only people who still have a job, five members of the outgoing cabinet, including the foreign, defense and justice ministers. The newly appointed vice president, who already serves as the defense minister, says security needs to be established. There is a crisis. Part of it was economic and part of it was due to what the previous government did in trying to find solutions. The security aspect of the country must be consolidated and we must prepare the general atmosphere for a political process and this is all part of our duties. Protesters, meanwhile, continue to take to the streets to demand that the president step down. Bashir has called for dialogue, but opposition parties say that's not reflected in his actions. And activists say protests will continue. These anti-government protests started last December, their anger ignited by an economic crisis. On Saturday, the ruling party postponed its April convention, where a nominee for the country's 2020 elections was to be chosen. But its members say that doesn't mean a delay in the elections. Let us wait to see to what extent this uh, state of emergency to be implemented on the ground so that to know actually whether this state of emergency will be against the freedom or pro the government and pro the uh, organization of the freedom of the people. Omar al-Bashir has ruled Sudan for nearly 30 years. He came to power in a bloodless military coup in 1989, overthrowing a democratically elected government. The latest round of protests have become the longest wave of anti-government demonstrations since the country's independence from Britain in 1956. And the opposition wants them to continue, which will test how effective the new state of emergency will be. Ijoma Ndukwe, Al Jazeera.